when Apollo first started, the person who was in charge, he asked his wife, what is software? Is it soft clothing? In other words, the word was not known. When I speak of software, I'm really talking about putting together code for a system with many pieces. People didn't call it software engineering before, but on Apollo, we realized that we're doing engineering as much as anybody is here. During Apollo 11, I was in charge of the onboard flight software that took us to the moon and back on the command module and the limb. The thing I worried about a lot once I took over the manned mission was just what if there was an emergency that came up and we had to let the astronaut and therefore also mission control know it's an emergency. So I realized I could come up with a solution for that and be able to have our software displays interrupt the astronaut displays and basically take away what he's working on and replace it with priority displays and let them know that there's an emergency and give them a choice of what to do. At the Earth, right out our front window. Uh, that's confirmity. Program alarm. It's 12.02. 12.02. And there was a set of never supposed to happen alarms in flight. They looked and it was a 12.01 and a 12.02. Give us a reading on the 12.02 program alarm. Roger, we got you. We're going at 11. We're going at 12. And I just thought, it's never happened throughout all these this time. Why now in Apollo 11? Why now just as we're about to land? 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. We're go. Same time. We're go. I don't really remember if I was more excited about the landing itself. <laughs> the software worked just the way it should have. And quality days here. The Eagle has landed. But it was a combination of excitement and relief. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. True relief. We had to get back off the moon and then back home. And all through this time, our software was doing what it does. One thing I did think about with respect to this book that is there. And it's there in a different form than it is in the software itself. This is the kind of thing that makes you think about what's going on with the astronauts. It brings it back in many ways. It was an amazing thing for them to work with. A good legacy. Um, well, one is that we went to the moon and back. <laughs> One thing is coming up with it, building it, then really making it happen. We were involved as an integrated team, all working together. The hardware was involved, the astronauts were involved, mission control, and of course the software became like a system-wide solution. So that is definitely a legacy.